Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the end of the dog days period. For those of you who have been following me for the last few weeks, you know that we are going through what we call the dog day period in Chinese metaphysics. That is a time of healing, a time of working on your physical, mental and emotional well-being. And so there are three stages, the beginning of the dog days, the mid part of the dog days, and now we have an activation for the ending of the dog days period. Now, the end of the dog days period, that's not just one day, it's actually a nine day period. So from the 10th to the 19th of August, but the beginning of that ending period starts on the 10th of August. So on that particular day to mark the end of the dog day period, we are going to have um, um, a feng shui activation and following that all the way until the 19th of August, just work on yourself, do whatever you will need to do to feel good about yourself. That could be on, an, on a physical level, spiritual, emotional, mental level, just take care of yourself and make sure that you do all those things that you may have neglected uh, so far this year. Yeah, maybe go see a doctor, maybe go for a Reiki session. Just try to balance your energies again. All right. So uh, the date that you need to mark, so the, the end of the dog days period is on the 10th of August. And we are looking at 1.19 p.m. for our activation. Now, there are two things that you can do. Uh, so it's a two-part activation. In the on the first part, we do a water activation or a singing bowl activation. So either or, if you don't want to use a water bowl, you can do uh, you can do a singing bowl activation, and that is then followed by a meditation. Now the meditation is optional, but I do recommend it because it is obviously part of your um, of your mental, emotional, spiritual well-being, yeah? So if you can include that meditation, that would be really, really good. Now, on this 10th of August at 1.19 9, p.m., and again, that's local time wherever you are. You don't have to uh, translate that into any other time zone. So it's 10th of August, 1.19 p.m. On that day, you need to implement a water activation in the southeast one sector. So for feng shui practitioners, you know that is the dragon sector. For those of you who are not so familiar with feng shui, um, what you need to do is you stand in the center of your flat. So you need to do this at home, not at the office. Uh, stand in the center of your flat and then just use a compass and check where do you have the 120 degree range. So it's actually it's plus minus five degrees, 115 to 125 degrees. Where do you have this degree range in your home? And in that area, in that sector, you then place a water feature. Now, let me show you what this water feature needs to look like. So there we go. Uh, it needs to be a fairly smooth and quiet water feature. And ideally, you insert a water pump in such a way that the water circulates clockwise. That would be ideal. If for whatever reason you can't make your water circulate clockwise, it's okay to just insert a water pump into the water and make sure that the water is moving. Yeah, you see like slight ripples on the surface, but do not create a fountain effect. Yeah, this is a very gentle water activation. We do not need a fountain effect. Now, people always ask how much water. Um, you need as much water as possible. So me personally, I use 60 liters. Uh, you can use slightly less, but don't use less than, I would say, 35 to 40 liters. Yeah, that's the absolute minimum. Just get a large bucket or like a pail of water. Um, doesn't matter the, what the color of the bucket is. The material of the container doesn't matter. It just needs to have a wide opening and it needs to hold a, a big amount of water. Yeah, 35 to 40 liters minimum. And then you just insert an aquarium pump into this particular uh, water feature and you just leave it there for minimum two hours, maximum until the end of that day. Yeah, so on that 10th of August, uh, the latest you should remove this uh, this water feature from the Southeast One sector would be 11.59 p.m., right? So don't uh, leave it there until the next day, until the 11th of August. You can safely remove it after two hours. 
Yeah, so if you implement it at 1.19 p.m., you can remove it at 3.19 p.m. and it's absolutely fine. It will have done the job, but you can leave it longer and just leave it there until you go to bed. Yeah, but remove it still on the 10th of August. Now, if you do not want to um, use a water feature, you can do a singing bowl activation. Now, again, this needs to be in the southeast one sector. So as you can see here, um, standing in the center of your on your of your flat and you just check where the southeast one sector is and you will put the water feature here in this area or uh, if you want to do a singing bowl activation then you take the singing bowl into the southeast southeast sector on the 10th of august at 1 19 pm and you just uh, use the, the the stick of the singing bowl and uh, circulate it around the rim of the singing bowl for like 10, 20 minutes. Yeah, make sure that you do this for quite a significant amount of time. Just stand there and um, activate your singing bowl. 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, even better. Yeah, so at least that long, nothing less than that. Now, once you have done either the water activation or the singing bowl activation, Optional, you can then also do a meditation in that same sector. So in the southeast one sector, you can then sit down um, in a meditative pose or, you know, if you just want to, if you want to sit on a chair, that's also fine. But some people, they just like to sit on the floor. That's also perfectly fine. It doesn't really matter how. Um, what is important is that while you are sitting in this southeast one sector, you make sure that you turn in such a way that the back of your head is towards the north and the front, the face is towards the south. Yeah, so you need to be facing the south direction. Yeah, so again, use your compass and then just sit in such a way that you're facing the south. And then you just meditate on um, the things that you want to let go of in these next nine days during this end of the dog day period. So between the 10th and the 19th, is there anything that needs to be cleared uh, physically, mentally, emotionally? What is it that you're struggling with? Is there any, are there any aches and pains? And just imagine that you are letting all of this go. Yeah, imagine how the pain is drained from your system, the trauma, the anxiety, the stress, whatever it is that you're carrying around with you, make sure that you just uh, visualize how you release this. Yeah, and again, um, do this meditation for, I would say about 10, 15 minutes and just sit in uh, in this quiet pose, imagining that you're letting go, letting go of baggage, letting go of whatever bothers you, letting go of what you don't want in life, letting go of what you don't need in life. And then once you're done with this meditation, you just imagine how you are sitting in a, a, a ball of light that is sent to you from the universe. And uh, you just sit there comfortably, you know, embrace that vibration that is being sent to you from the universe. Could be any color that you want. It doesn't really matter which one it is, whichever you feel comfortable with. Just sit there and absorb the energies that are now, uh, that now have space because you've released all that that is no longer needed. And once you think you're ready, you count yourself up from one to five and then you just go about your day. Now, what is important, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, because this period does last nine days, in those last days, really, really focus on doing something that improves your vibrations, that raises your vibrations, do energy healing, go to a doctor, get a physical, whatever it is that you need to do that you think will serve your well-being or your health, just go ahead and do it. Yeah, it could be even starting a new exercise regimen, starting a diet, going on a detox, whatever it is, just start it on those, uh, in those days. All right. So I hope this helps. I hope you guys are having a really, really lovely nine days where you're taking care of yourself and making sure that you feel good. Uh, if you do have any questions, as always, you can uh, put them in the comment section below or you can contact me directly. My email address is in the notes to this video. Now, um, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, if you share this with anybody who may be interested in, if you like the video and also obviously comment and um, hopefully that will help. All right. Take care, guys. I will see you soon.